If there's one thing I miss about Zambia, it's how friendly the people were. Standard, everywhere you went, people had a smile on their face. People were willing to talk to you, just had this, this vibe to them, you know? It's something I feel like we've lost in South Africa. As part of our culture, we used to be a friendly nation. We used to be a people of smilers, a people of talkers, you know? Now we, we've got that thing, that anger, that distrust when we look at one another. I don't know what happened, but we just lost it. You know, you see it with the workers in this country, they're so angry. You see how angry they are? All the workers, all of them, they're on strike. You know, we've had over 99 strikes in this country this year alone, 99 strikes costing us billions, uh, all different sectors, national mine workers, uh, union of metal workers, petrol attendants, yeah, petrol attendants, they threatened to burn the petrol stations down, we'll bend them to the ground with our petrol bombs, <laughs> we just need someone to pour petrol for us, because <laughs> we're on strike, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Murphy's law, eh? everyone was on strike, but there's one strike in particular that got to me, City Power, you see that? The illegal strike of City Power that left thousands of households in Johannesburg without electricity. One household in particular got to me, the house of Nelson Mandela. There was no electricity at the house of Nelson Mandela. Hmm? In the middle of the night, out of nowhere, you know how horrible that must have been? Lights and the next thing, <laughs> <laughs> Nelson Mandela doesn't need electricity for his big screen TV people. Nelson Mandela needs that electricity because he has machines keeping him alive. That man is critical but stable. I don't know what that means. The government told me. This is an oxymoron, critical but stable. How's Bafana doing? They are losing but winning. <laughs> it's the same but different. <laughs> I had to try and explain that to my grandmother. Do you know how hard that was? Because my grandmother doesn't get bamboozled easily. Yeah. She asked me, she said, Trevor, how is Mandela doing? But she asked me like I know him. I'm like, oh, he's, he's, he's okay, Gogo. I mean, he's, he's critical but stable. <laughs> Critical but stable. Critical but good, Antoni. Critical but stable. What does that mean? Before I can answer, my, my uncle walks in the room, drunk as always. Comes straight to us. Goes, critical but stable. That's me every weekend. <laughs> Who is this man? But no electricity at the house of Nelson Mandela, guys. Hmm? And you know what's sad? Is this is the second time we've let him down. Second time. The first time was with the ambulance. Do you remember this? Yeah. Nelson Mandela got a lung infection. Needed to go to hospital. An ambulance picked him up from his home and then got stuck on the side of the highway for four hours. Mm -hmm. Four hours. How is that even possible? I have so many questions, so many things I don't understand. For instance, why was Nelson Mandela even in an ambulance? Huh? Couldn't we get a helicopter going? Can't, can't we get a helicopter? He's old, get him a helicopter. Can't we afford it? I mean, his face is on our money. I'm sure we can do something. Huh? <laughs> we can't get him that? We can't get him a helicopter? We can organize for the Guptas to land jets, but we can't get Mandela a helicopter? This is what we're saying. In fact, why not phone the Guptas? Phone them, yeah. Phone them. I'm sure they'd be there in a second. They'd be like, hey, Atil, can you come and fetch this guy? Yeah, he'd be there with his Gupta swag. That's not the airplane, that's the sound he makes when he walks around. <laughs> and then Jacob Zuma rides on his back. <laughs> basta, basta. <laughs> huh? This is us, guys. Nelson Mandela. Second question I have. Why was there only one ambulance? No backup ambulance? No support cars? Nothing? Ministers in Parliament have four to seven cars with them everywhere they go. They've got a little blue light brigade, causing chaos on the roads. Multiple people have been killed by them, crashing into cars, because they're always in a hurry, always in a hurry, always in a hurry. Why are you in a hurry? And why do you have bodyguards? I don't understand. I mean, some people, yes. President, give him bodyguards. Yeah, fine. Minister of Finance, it's our money. Bodyguards, bodyguards. Yeah. <laughs> there are some ministers where we're just wasting money now. Huh? Minister of Agriculture. Why are you even in a hurry? 
No, you've got the slowest portfolio. Where are you going? <laughs> Nothing happens in agriculture in a hurry. Nothing. There's no drought starting at four. Why are you in a hurry? <laughs> yeah? And why do you have bodyguards? Who's trying to kill you? The cabbage mafia. Yeah? <laughs> no, guys. Just sit in the traffic and shut up. Stop wasting our money. Give Nelson Mandela that motorcade. That's what he needs. Stuck for four hours, people. You know how terrifying that must have been for the ambulance driver? He knows who's in the back. You wouldn't want Nelson Mandela dying on your watch. He's there panicking hour after hour. Nobody coming to help. Finally tried to do something himself. I'm sure he just got up there. He was like, da da, da da, da da. Mandela's there like, ah, ah. Ah, St. Peter, is that you? No, no, Tata, it's me. It's me, it's Piwe. Oh, oh, that's, that's B-E in heaven. <laughs> yeah? No, Tata, no. We're still here. We're in the ambulance, Tata. The ambulance is stuck. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, so are they sending another one? Hey, that's the thing, Tata. We've been here for hours. Nothing has happened, eh? So I was thinking maybe, maybe we should hitchhike. <laughs> huh? Ah, man, you are killing me, man. Ah, 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 man. Ah, ah. Tata, what can we do? Ah, okay, okay. Help me up, help me up. Ah. They get up. They're there on the side of the highway. Nelson Mandela and Spiwe trying to get a lift from people. Spiwe's on one side, panicking. Mandela's on the other side, hitchhiking. <laughs> Nobody's stopping. Spiwe's there. Tata! They're not stopping. They'll never stop for black people. <laughs> like, yeah, and those are the black people. Because <laughs> we don't stop anymore. I wouldn't stop. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't stop. I'd see Nelson Mandela, but I wouldn't stop. No, no, because for the life of me, I would not begin to believe that the man standing on the side of the road hitchhiking mm. is Nelson Mandela. I'd see him, I'd be driving past, I'd be, I'd be like, hey, that guy looks like Nelson Mandela. Look, look, that guy, that guy looks exactly like Nelson Mandela. Yo, it looks like him, it looks like, but I wouldn't stop. Yeah, not because of time. I'd even have time, I'd have time to make a U-turn, in fact. I'd make a U-turn, I'd go back around. You gotta see him, you gotta look at him, he's amazing. He looks exactly like Nelson Mandela. You're gonna see him now, you're gonna see him. We drive past there slowly, look at him. Yo, 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 he looks exactly like Nelson Mandela. And yeah, that guy's even got the face, he's got the hair, he's got, yo, he's even got the shirt, looks like Nelson Mandela. I wouldn't stop. I'd even go home and fetch family before I stop. <laughs> I'll be there, mom, come, get in, get in. Isaac, come, come, come. Are we going to get a PlayStation? No PlayStation for you. Shut up, get in the car. We're going to fetch Nelson Mandela. Bloody hell, we'll be driving around there. I'll be like, everyone, you must look at me. We're going to slow down. We're going to slow down. We're going to look at it. We'd slow right down, roll down the windows. Hello? Hello? I'd be like, ah, please, can you even sound like Nelson Mandela? <laughs> but I wouldn't stop. Nobody stops. Culture of distrust. Back in the day, people used to hitchhike in South Africa. Yeah. I remember people used to hitchhike from Durban to Johannesburg. They'd be there on the side of the road. Yeah, people picking them up. Now, nobody. <laughs> nobody stops for anybody. Even Metro Police, you're like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> nobody stops. I bet even babies couldn't hitch a ride. Be on the side of the road in their diapers then. <laughs> no one would stop. You'd be like, hey, you don't stop for them. You never, ever stop for them. Yeah, you think it's a baby, hey? You think it's a baby, yeah, yeah, they look like babies. And then you stop and then like a man pops out, hey? Yeah, yeah, happened to my friend Gladys, hey? You don't take chances. We become a culture of distrusting angry people. That's who we are, everyone's angry. Weird angriness as well, in places where it shouldn't be. I was in Czechos the other day. I'm just shopping, it's a normal experience, you know? I get to the cashier and those people are so angry. Like, I don't know what Checkers does to their employees, but they're clearly not enjoying it. Because I get to the till, she doesn't greet me, she doesn't even look at me, she just pushes a little conveyor belt thing, all my groceries pull up, she's like, doot, 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 doot. Look at you like your dad invented the barcode. <laughs> then 
they look at you and ask you that question like you kill baby panda bears for a living. Plastic. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. No, I'll just hold, I'll just, yeah. I'll just, I'll just, no, 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 thank you, thank you. Yeah. They're so angry. And they look angry because they've drawn their eyebrows on. <laughs> <laughs> that permanent scowl. <laughs> I don't understand that trend in fashion, to be honest with you. Yeah. Why would you shave your eyebrows off and then draw them back on where they were? <laughs> it's weird. But look, I also commend it, you know, that, that level of commitment has to be commended. Because I don't understand how anyone can commit to one expression for the entire day. Like, how do you choose that expression? Do you just work on how you feel in the morning? Is that what you do? You just wake up and be like, I'm feeling angry. Yeah. <laughs> what if something good happens? Something good. You can't even, you'd be like, yeah, Tembi, you won the lotto. Yay. <laughs> you don't look happy. I just can't show it. <laughs> I dread tomorrow. I dread tomorrow. <laughs> Why would you? So angry. <laughs> we become angrier and angrier. Almost more focused on the negative aspects of race. We used to be the rainbow nation. Now the colors are going their separate ways. 